Good afternoon, everyone. We are so excited to have Dr. Sylvia Binder present Biomedical Information Therapy at our upcoming 24th Annual World Congress on December 8th in Las Vegas. Today, Dr. Binder will highlight this exciting symposium. Dr. Sylvia Binder is the founder of the Binder Institute for Personalized Medicine in Southern Germany. She was born in Germany and grew up in Vienna, Austria, where she earned her degree in business. Sylvia received her MD degree from the College of Naturopathy in London, UK, followed by her PhD degree in naturopathy. Sylvia works with physicians and chronically ill patients from around the world and offers a unique two-week healing retreat in select locations. Her lectures and teaching specialized courses on integrative personalized medicine globally and is the author of a number of articles and the book On Demand, A Story of Love, Healing, and Medical Revolution. Dr. Binder, thank you so much for joining us. I will turn the webinar over to you. Hello, dear friends and colleagues. Thank you so much, Lindsay, for this kind introduction. It is a beautiful day, a fall day, of course, with beautiful foliage and sun here in southern Germany. Isn't it great to have technology? Here I am sitting in the south of Germany by the borders of Switzerland and France, and Lindsay is sitting in Florida. Is that amazing? And I'm recording across the Atlantic Ocean, this piece, and it comes to you wherever you are worldwide. The internet, cell phones, and other gadgets have greatly changed the way we live and we work. This information and communication technology should not stop at the front door of your practice or clinic. You owe it to yourself and your patients to embrace energy medicine as daily tool just as you have embraced your cell phone and your iPad. Your patients demand different health solutions going beyond standard care. Patients want better and more effective diagnostics and treatments. Less invasive with less or no side effects would be ideal. Well, that's what's in demand all over the globe. Even health departments add forms of energy medicine into their basic structure of standard health care to make available to physicians and patients in a legal way. Well, how easy can it be to integrate energy medicine? I will show you various diagnostic and treatment methods and philosophies, which are ancient, and some are cutting-edge technologies. It can be really simple adding some form of energy medicine or more to daily practice life right away. And how do you make money offering energy medicine? Well, we'll talk about billing through insurance companies and Medicare in the United States, as well as building a cash-based practice in the U.S. or anywhere else on the planet. We'll also unravel its functional areas on the body, such as inflammation, infection, scars, and unresolved emotional shock and trauma, which are residing in cellular memory somewhere on the body. You will learn how to get to these areas on the body, let's call them the main foci, which ultimately may be responsible for your patient's symptoms and their disease processes. Finding these main foci and treating them is key to stabilizing our patients and helping them build to a new level of health. The well, fact is that most of you did not learn about the realm of biophysics or energy medicine in med school. Different sources of references are needed so that you understand and use energy medicine with confidence in your practice. I will point you to scientific literature, peer-reviewed studies and books that give you a chance to further dive into this very exciting field. The success of my teaching colleagues such as yourself lays in my practical, common sense and simplified approach. My work with physicians and patients in different continents and countries allow me to learn about different cultures and gives me a wider and zoomed up perspective on life and health, which I'm so happy to share with you. Let's take a look here at this slide. It, uh, I call it Sylvia's planetary system. 
it is um, there are all the tools that I use in my practice on a daily basis. I see patients from around the world, but also a local village people come to me. It's an integrative, personalized medicine approach, and I employ all of these uh, tools. Uh, we'll learn about how to recognize intuition and how do we build it and how do we uh, believe in it and give it respect. That is a tool that lays within all of us and we will explore ways of how to um, pay more attention to that tool that you don't have to slap around, it's always within you. We'll review the realm of uh, uh, focused electromagnetic fields combined with tapping into the patient's uh, wisdom through a biofeedback method. We can do kinesiology, we can do the vascular autonomic signal, all of these ways um, and more uh, to tap into the, the truth of what's really going on in the patient. We'll talk about very simplified nutritional elements that we can uh, very quickly give to each of our patients so that they can feed themselves and their families more responsibly and so that they're less inflamed. Another um, planet I'm going to touch on is uh, homeopathy. And the exciting addition I found is the bioidentical hormones, and there's a lot of talk about it, and it's a wonderful field, but I find that the whispers in reminding the, the patient's uh, hormonal system of, of certain hormonal productions I can achieve with uh, homeop homeopathic bioidentical hormones through pellets or through creams. Lifestyle coaching, of course, we're going to touch on uh, the German uh, Bert Hellinger family constellations. What is it? How do we integrate it or find someone who does this kind of work? It's, it's very fascinating. Of course, epigenetics is going to be part of it. Uh, also. Um, uh, one German a physician whose work I have simplified once again and uh, made it available to use in, in all the things that I use is the, um, the cancer connection. Um, and uh, here when the, the body expresses a tumor or a cancer, it actually is a resolving of an unresolved emotional shock or trauma residing somewhere on the body. Very interesting work. We're going to touch on uh, biological dentistry and orthodontistry. Ayurveda, then I'm going to teach you how to very simply integrate this complicated and ancient field of traditional Chinese medicine. And then one of my most fa uh, favorite ones is anthroposophy. My landsman Rudolf Steiner, um, this word actually anthroposophy stands for a spiritually enhanced science. So let's take a look here. For example, um, I'll share with you the dental correlation or the place of the tooth or maybe there is a root canal or some infection sitting there. But we'll correlate from the traditional Chinese medicine model the, a certain position of the tooth to an organ or organ system and then also to uh, other related uh, symptoms that if we have an issue in uh, the, the front lower teeth or tooth section, it can correlate to bladder and kidney. And then it has other um, uh, symptoms that, uh, that this may bring with it, such as um, maybe in your tonsils. And then it comes with the connection of unresolved emotional issues. So I'll teach you how to use this tool, amongst others. I'm going to go into homeopathy and bring a few kids and we'll work with that and how do we test for homeopathy? How do we, uh, in an unconventional way, simplified way, integrate homeopathy in our daily practice work? We'll talk about the peer-reviewed information of um, focused electromagnetic fields such as 2 hertz and melatonin secretion and the uh, biological effect on the body. We'll dive also into, I know you like this, into the science of um, um, peer-reviewed studies uh, with a therapy that involves uh, electromagnetic or electrochemical on this slide. Or, for example, pelvic pain is a huge problem all over the world. And this here is, an, is a research done at the Los, in Los Angeles, California from the International Pain Research Institute. 
and we'll take a look at many of them around the world and see how unique uh, this form of energy medicine can be used in all types of, of symptoms and disease processes. In 2004, uh, Time magazine already informed the U.S. population that the common denominator to most disease is inflammation. But how do we know where inflammation is sitting? And if we know where it was sitting, what would we do about it to localize treatment to that area? Well, here's Alfred Pischin, another landsman from Vienna, Austria. He termed uh, uh, the phrase um, ground regulation, meaning let's give the body the tools it needs to help regulate itself. And uh, this is still valid today. It was brilliant work. And he also um, said that the origin of, it, of disease and its symptoms first registers in a myofascia. And uh, it, it, he says that, uh, or he said he's no longer alive, uh, that the breakdown of cell communication and microcirculation in the extracellular matrix is what causes the wrong pathology. So here we have a picture. He, um, he talks about this is German Mülldeponie, which means this is a, um, a waste deposit or a deposit of um, toxic debris, heavy metals, etc. And as you can see here, it uh, interrupts the, the flow of communication. It's very difficult to find those areas, but I mean this is um, the, uh, the underlying dysfunctional problem laying in the myofascia and the, the question of well, how do we get to it? Well, here again, I'm going to teach you how to either use your hands in, uh, in finding those areas, palpate uh, the um, radio pulse, also called the vascular autonomic signal. You can use kinesiology. And then when we find this area, we can integrate a sophisticated uh, technology, which really is uh, intelligent in working with the communication pathways and helping reestablish them. In, in a non-invasive and very focused way. We're able to sort of bring uh, to the immune system, make it visible of what was not visible before, such as an, uh, an inflammatory pouch, as uh, Dr. Selye had already formed in the 1950s, another landsman from Vienna, Austria, who then lived and also died in uh, the Toronto area in Canada. So how do we find those areas of dysfunction? That's what we're going to hone in on. I'm going to share cases with you of uh, acute issues, chronic disease, including a little boy's third degree burns. He had a six year old after triple bypass surgery. She developed fluid in the left lung. And what can we do through energy medicine? And here is Jamie Bell's palsy. This is a case provided by Dr. Andrew in Utah. And we uh, are going to dive into, and I'm going to use all the planets that I've shown you, the surface planetary system, my galaxy, that uh, we're going to dive into the homeopathy, the Bach flowers, the, um, maybe the anthroposophical view and um, Hamer's view on cancer, and unravel an actual case um, who I worked on, a 42-year-old female who was diagnosed with invasive mammary carcinoma 2B. Here's another uh, chronic uh, atopic eczema. The National Skin Center in Singapore gave up on this 15-year-old boy. But energy medicine did the trick. And we're going to take a look at what it did when you attend this one-day symposium December 8th. This is a patient of mine diagnosed with third-stage prostate cancer. And he's 77-year-old, or was then, not as well older. And we'll take a look at how quickly the PSA values can drop from 30.3 within a few months to normal ranges of 1.58, employing all the things that I have shared with you on my planetary slide. We're also going to touch on, uh, I want to call the most popular disease on the planet today, and that is Lyme disease. This is an actual patient of mine was diagnosed with 12 years old. This is at the age of 20, the picture, and she's doing really well. I also want to prompt the thought that in the 16th century, Borrelia burgdorferi was already in the literature. And as Dr. Overby in, uh, 
in Norway states, so he's a microscopist, that Borrelia, as it said in the 16th century, is not a bacteria, it is a parasite. Isn't it wonderful, bridging ancient wisdom with today's science and offering an integrative and personalized approach in order to do, to do the following with our patients, our family members, ideally also ourselves, I believe by stimulating the soul which expresses itself through our emotions and manifests in and throughout the physical body, we're actually capturing that entire human being. And it's so exciting and always unique to work with every patient in their own term and their need. So I'm really excited in sharing my experience and knowledge with you on December 8th as the pre-conference or symposium. Come join me and register today. This is such a great opportunity. You may want to be at the conference for the three days. Just spend that one additional day with me and learn so much about the realm of energy medicine or biomedical information therapy. I look forward to spending that day with you and I give back to Lindsay now. Thank you so much, Dr. Binder. That was a fantastic highlight of the one-day symposium. Um, you can also earn up to eight CME credits for those of you who are interested. Uh, please give me a call to register. My direct line is 561-777-6807. Thank you so much, Dr. Binder. We're so excited to see you back in Las Vegas, um, and we look forward to seeing everyone there. Thank you, everyone, and have a fantastic day.